Hey guys, welcome to Watch Doggy. And this is a program where we try to solve problems for people, for genuine human beings that are going through so much, and particularly with lockdown. Um, I'm going to be bringing on Vlad Maldinov, who is an amazing actor, friend of mine from Bulgaria, who's been living here for five years. And I want to find out why he's not able to get universal credit. And how is he supposed to survive the way things are? So let's see if we can come up with some solutions because Moving on TV has always been about solutions and always will be. So please, if you want to come on here and try and explore what to do, we are the TV station for you. Okay, so welcome to Moving on TV. And let's see if we can get Vlad on and find out what's going on. Please email me, movingontv1 at gmail.com. If you want to be a presenter or a host or you want to bring on your issues, this is what we're here for. Okay, I look forward to hearing from you. Yeah. Hi, Vlad. Yeah. So Hello, Lauren. In the middle of, um, what is it, you're, you're doing um, the next part in, as a waiter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. okay, you well, know what it's like, artist life. Yeah. You never you know how you'll you end up. Mm. Yeah, exactly, to survive. You know. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm trying to explain your situation here on Watchdoggy, the consumer program, so we can go out and try and get you some help. Thank um, you, Laura. I'm here for solutions, and we know that the country is in a mess. We know with the lockdowns and everything, yeah. people need to be compensated. So exactly. So, you to tell me why are you not getting universal credit? Okay. So, can you explain that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, you know, um, I um, I started to get some uh, universal credit. The trouble is not that I'm not getting at all, but the trouble is that I'm getting very, very little. And no matter how many times I complained and explained my situation and told them that what they um, pay uh, is like uh, almost three times less than what I need just for my rent and my council tax. You know, okay. and, how much uh, are you getting, Vlad? How much uh, are they giving about, you? About about four hundred quid. Four hundred pounds. And yeah. Okay, who do you live with? It's you uh, and your with wife. My wife, yeah, and our younger daughter. But she she moved because uh, we live in just a very okay. small flat, okay. and it was impossible, you know, to continue to live together. She okay. felt very much, like constrained. Of course. How much is your rent? Uh, it's uh, 850 and uh, plus uh, the council tax uh, is almost uh, 1,000. Yeah, and, and it's just is... one one bedroom, small flat, top flat, right under the roof, you know, uh, very tiny. This doesn't make sense. Okay. No, okay. no the oh, whole no. thing doesn't so, make sense, darling. Okay, you know, when, it's... when is the last time you contacted anyone to try and get some support? Have you been in touch with Sid Europe. Yes, yes. Right. I've contacted them a few times and uh, the only thing they could tell me is to do what I have already done. I've contacted uh, the council, the local council, and uh, but they kept on uh, uh, telling me that they don't have uh, enough funds, that these are difficult times and blah, blah, blah. And doesn't make yeah. any sense. How long ago did you do this? Uh, the, the last uh, attempt of mine was just a week ago. A week ago? Yeah. And they said that to you? Yeah, they that always find answer. something to, they always find an occasion, you know, to say no. Okay. Well, from what I know now, they, you know, Universal Credit has got to take care of us. And it doesn't make sense that that's all you've got when you're living in... How much is your rent again? Tell me. Uh, to totally uh, together with the council tax, one thousand pounds. That's ridiculous. A month for one bedroom. Yeah. That that, that is, and you're not even you're not in London. No, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. And between Essex and Hertfordshire, yeah, in a small village. Again, this does not make any sense. Yeah. So, we um, we try to we try to talk to you know to our landlord and to tell them that this is a, a ripoff, that this is uh, 
you know, too much, especially now. Uh, this year has been a disaster for the entire economy. And so, uh, honestly, we asked them, you know, how come that only the landlords would be guaranteed their income and no one else? I mean, okay. I don't get it. And, and you're not getting any income at all. So when no. you ask for this money and you tell them that you've literally got no income and they're still only giving you 400 pounds? Yeah. That doesn't even cover your rent? No, no, you know, it has never, it has never covered the rent. Even when our daughter used to live with us, they would, uh, they would pay a little bit more because of our daughter. But then they, uh, when she left, you know, yeah. Okay, well, none of this is making any sense. Um, it doesn't. So, again, the last time we contacted the Universal Credit was when? Uh, a, a, a week ago. We, because oh, yeah. yeah, we've been bombarding them with messages, you know, trying to explain them that this is not, not fair, uh -huh. that this is a very little, and but uh, you know, many times they would not reply at all, and if they reply, they would reply robot, uh, like you know, rob bots like, uh, yes. automatic oh, answers, yes. and okay, they yes. they won't take into consideration our struggles, our what are they uh, concerns. What's What's their excuse for giving you such a little amount of money? Uh, Have you got savings? Have you got a house anywhere else? <laughs> well, oh, that's, that's fine. The, the, the smallest amount should be your rent, yeah. at least, especially the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, just, they just are called. Quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, What's they say that uh, is, lad? my my wife, uh, because she works as a carer, but she works for the minimum salary, and uh, they always say, "Oh, but she she works." And I said, "Yes, but she works for the minimum salary." Yes. And, okay. How much does she earn? Um, about uh, one thousand, one thousand and a hundred. It depends on the right. hours that she makes. Okay, so which that is, basically covers just about. And then you're left with nothing but food. Yeah, or, no bills, no food, well, we've nothing. We've got to look into this. Yeah. How much money do you need to survive, would you say? Approximately. I mean, it's... You mean different. totally, like, you totally? Go out with, no, with what you're getting from what your wife is working. Yeah, maybe at so least, uh, at least thousand uh, another thousand. Yeah, at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Vlad, well, I'm going yeah, to pass I this I need to on. go. I need to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you Thank so you. much. I've got the Thank facts you. now. Take care, Tia. Okay. Lots of love and I'll see you later. Bye. So there you go. So Vlad's wife is working as a care assistant and she's bringing her in just enough to pay the rent. And apart from that, they've got no money, nothing. This is unbelievable because he's not earning anything. The whole of the industry, the artists, you know, actors and performers, I earn nothing. This is why I do movie on TV. And I'm going out there to try and bring in money for people like that. So this is England. This is how we're living. Some people are not earning anything at all, but we're flat. And I also know that th there wasn't as much work. And when there isn't as much work, she earns less than that. They're living in a one bedroom for that amount of money. It's just unbelievable. I think that we need to bring on someone here with Vlad to see how they're going to help him. We need to change something. So if you want to contact me, I'm moving on TV1 at gmail.com. Have a look at this situation and tell me what you think. I would like to know what can we do? How come Citizens Advice Bureau are absorbing themselves completely? And um, what are they supposed to do for food? What are they supposed to do for their bills? Um, if he wants to get to interviews for work, how's he going to do it? This is disgusting and we need to find a way to help them. So um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Contact me, moving on TV1 at gmail.com. This is Watchdoggy. Please send this everywhere. This is England. And if you're in a situation like that or worse, I managed to get on Universal Credit. I was very, very lucky. 
and I'm getting enough money to pay the rent. It all goes on the rent, which is disgusting. So hopefully when the Sarah and Sarah comes in, these things will change for the better. But Moving On TV will do everything we can to help. Take care now. Love you lots. Namaste. Bye-bye.